Part 7 on behaviorism, we are looking at shaping behaviors, and very much like that. Dancing chickens shaping. It is small steps towards a desired behavior initially, followed with rewards coming only after the behaviors become closer and closer to the desired behavior. Let me explain. If you want to teach a chicken to dance, first, every time the chicken accidentally turns slightly, you reward the chicken. Then every time it turns a half turn, you reward it. And then every time it turns a full, etc., etc. So you do this until it gets closer and closer to the actual reward until finally you only reward the chicken after a full circle, bob, step, and flap. That is how you teach a chicken how to dance. I guess we're a human to dance as well. Let's get some human examples. Seventh grade Sally talks frequently during her language arts class and often daydreams. The desired behavior is for Sally to be attentive, looking at the teacher or front of the class, and quiet, raising her hand to speak. To reinforce her behaviors, her teacher would use some sort of token below. Steps in shaping, attentive and quiet when class starts, and then attentive and quiet she gets a token after 10 minutes, and then attentive and quiet after 20 minutes, and then attentive and quiet for the entire lecture shaping closer and closer towards the desired behavior. Seventh grade Sydney does not use this writing time productively, his writing time. He usually jokes with his neighbors, stares off into space, draws pictures on his paper, or engages in a variety of other behaviors to avoid writing. Desired behavior? Sydney began working on his writing assignments without delay and stay engaged. First, reward him for just that, and then reward him for that, and then don't give him a roar until he does that, and then that, and then that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until you see the desired behavior. That is the end. By the way, punishing and shaping, if you use uh, uh, contracting, uh, that is one way to use shaping. A contract is you have something taped on a student's desk, contingency contract, and then at first you reward the child maybe every half, uh, for the first half of the morning, second, first half of the afternoon, the second, so you get rewards four times a day, and then eventually rewards just morning and afternoon, and then rewards just after the day, and finally you can eliminate the contract altogether. That is how shaping is used in a classroom situation.